What's up guys? It's V. Welcome back to Danganronpa. So we are at Hope's Peak Academy, supposedly. And we are investigating to find out the secrets, the truth of everything. Where we'll have a Monokuma! Where we'll have one final... Ooh, look at it. One final trial. So, uh, yeah, let's... Okay, so there's nothing to look at in the gym. Let's get on then. I don't know where to go. Whoa, how do we end up on the, fifth, the fifth floor? And everything is glitching. Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. This is clearly obviously... Okay, so we can't go back the other way. Yeah. This is obviously some kind of digital world. This hallway, there's a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to li limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? Oh, I have. N I wasn't even doing it in Sonya's voice. I am very concerned. Where am I even going? Oh, um, yeah. Um, her despair meter is kind of high. <laughs> Oops. But maybe if I give her lots and lots of presents. She'll turn into something good. So let's just give lots of presents right now, especially since we, we probably aren't going to need the rest of those presents. Oh, look, her despair meter is going down. Yay! This is good! This is good! This is good. Okay. I'm running out of stuff anyway. <laughs> Have this coconut! Okay, just a couple more. I love this music. Okay, I'll give her one more. And a straight jacket! Here you go! <laughs> okay, that should be good. No more despair. Uh, but I need the map. Okay, so this way. The dojo. Wow, it's crazy to be in here. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Hmm? What's this? Looks like manga. Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Morons, A History of Hope Speak Academy by Monokuma. Well, that sounds like we need that. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history class first. Hey, um, reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person. Okay. So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. 
Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen, chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it's also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system. The Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy receives an endless stream of applicants. Hope Speak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly canceled in the middle of its run. Plus these phrases mentioned at the end of the manga. The tragedy, the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. These names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents really happened, right? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... No, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. The reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve course students, right? Hmm, <laughs> that's weird. Well, you're here again. Oh, the weird thing, or the thing that's weird is you, of course. Hmm? Why did you forget you were part of the reserve department? Because his memories were taken, right? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. Well, what do you want me to say? By the way... Hmm, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. I got it! Or you willingly stealed those memories yourself! Huh? <laughs> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. It happens pretty often. Not that I would know about that or anything. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on! When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a Reserve Corps student. So now you're just saying it. Reserve Corps student, Reserve Corps student. Damn it, what the heck? Reserve Department. Yeah, I didn't really learn too much anything new in that. It's armor and a helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect a Japanese dojo? Um, this cherry tree is in full bloom. It may be a tasteful sight to see a blooming cherry tree inside a dojo, but in this situation, it just looks bizarre because we are in a classroom, or a school. That target seems pretty far away. 
If the production team had had more time, there could have been a mini game here. <laughs> that would have been cool, yes, had you guys put a mini game here. Wait, what am I saying? Breaking the fourth wall, Hajime, that's what you're doing. There's a straw post. I guess that means it was used for training. I remember these lockers. There's a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them has a traditional looking wood lock, wood block key sticking out of them. I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Okay. I looked all around, made sure there's no hidden monokumas. I think I've already missed one. Okay, so there was a dojo, and then we came down the hallway, so let's go this way. What's that? Uh, okay, hello Soda. What's going on? This hallway, it's kind of creepy. I can't go to places I should be able to go to. It's like some rules being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. No, I could certainly see the wall. It's not invisible. Um. Okay, no, that's the dojo. So then we want to go. Wait. I'm lost. Can't go there. Okay. Can't go here either. Nope. Okay. Then where am I supposed to go? This classroom? Oh, is this the classroom we started in? See this book. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one. Manga for Morons, The Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Wasn't the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? It's why Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt, and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? Ugh. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamukura. Izuru was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's exist existence. But Izuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Hope's Week Academy Student Con Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserve corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began. And that heralded Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. 
the incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. We're excited, Danganronpa Zero, which I read. With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> what irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident. A talent like that is too regal for society. It's like me trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. <laughs> you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too. But it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nakito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the deserve, reserve department. Here, it said that the reserve corps students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Yeah, so in in, um, in addition to the games, you know, they've got the mangas and the light novels that you have to read. And it all ties it together, but you just gotta make sure to read it in the right order. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy, but... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Azuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who was that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. It all goes back to... Um, uh, what's her name? Junko. Okay, so, where to now? Let's go this way. I don't think we went... Okay, we can't go in there. So then, where am I supposed to go? Wait, Kazuichi's gone. So we can go down here now. Raw. Man, I really got the creeps. <sighs> What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. This is where they stored the bodies. <laughs> it's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Okay. Tarp? This looks like a plastic tarp. Why is it left out like this? Clean up after yourselves, will you? Okay. Refrigerator? I've seen this in movies before. It's a refrigerator for preserving dead bodies. At least, that's what it looks like. But that's not possible, right? Keeping dead bodies in a high school bio lab isn't something you should joke about. It just feels so forced. This idea should have been cancelled during development or something. <laughs> hmm, what am I thinking? Oh my god, Monokuma. <sighs> I've been found. They're really hidden this time. Look at the cover. There's another manga just lying around here. This, ti this time the title is Manga for Morons. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? 
Just what was that incident really all about? It might turn out to be something lame. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. A story about a creepily drawn about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continues to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then, it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon, the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people watched them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began, to sp began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etat were began occurring around the world, a rage warred in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war, pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. That's because you're in the freezer. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. Oh. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. But it's true, and it's all caused by Junko. I mean, if it's really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? No way! Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Wah -wah? Oh my, you don't like manga? <sighs> a high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world. But for you to not remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them. Thanks to them stealing your memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it. There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Hello. Please understand. I'm rooting for you. 
If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. Sure. I see. So that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy you're finally gonna graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you about the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... no. That's definitely it. <sighs> Whether or not this incident really happened. What in the world is this ultimate despair group? If you're devoted to a certain student who guides Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use. I'm gonna freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Good question. I'm guessing I can go to... Um... Wait, no. That room on the end there. No? Still can't go there. Where am I supposed to go? Another classroom? Okay, another classroom. Despair. For Yuhiko and Monokuma? Nope, I should ignore it. Just gonna pretend like I didn't see him. But we do see him. It's meaningless to look at the clock. Okay. No, I didn't mean to click on that. This is... Metal slabs are covering portions of the classroom where windows would usually be. These better not be remnants of the killing school life. That's exactly what they are. Jeez. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hmm. It's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. I don't. Uh... Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasingly well. <laughs> are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. Tee <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your blabbling. Babbling. Hurry up. What did you need to tell me? It's about that key piece information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. Ahem. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, actually, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. 
a high school girl. Yes, indeed. Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko Inoshima. Hey, um... As a former ultimate despair, she created the despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> there was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me. Hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not easy to form an organization. He would know. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That's very true. That's how Hitler has followers. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Phew. Her connections were the main reason that incident became a tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was her purpose? Huh? Huh? Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they do what they did without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko Enoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko Enoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Enoshima as Junko Enoshima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed fleshy. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> and so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Inoshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko Inoshima's name. For example, they killed their family and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Wah -wah? Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Final days? In other words, Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? Of course! They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. What? Mass suicide? Where was Hajime? What'd you say? All 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded. Huh? Is that me? Damn it! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko Inoshima. It doesn't scare me at all. I mean... Bastard! Junko Inoshima is already dead. You're aware of her, Fuyu? 
Oh! <laughs> Ultimate despair. Preserve department. Okay, so tell me what you know, Fuyu. Hey, Fuyu, is it true what you said? Junko Inoshima's really dead? I mean, she is dead, but how does he know that? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait, what was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings happened in Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from that academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Inoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Inoshima is dead. What you got to say, Monokuma? Like... Turns out that this killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful, whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Pope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Pope's Peak Academy, and she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to it being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? So. The students of Hope's Week Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. <laughs> but that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Nishima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard. Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore. I don't entirely believe that. Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Inoshima is already dead, are the rest of the Ultimate Despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... An imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit. If the students from Hope's Week Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lube to some fake. But if this, is, if this really is an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? There's a lot of reading. The cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting this somewhere, just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Alright, Killing School Life. Ultimate Despair. Monokuma, you've been silent. Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What, do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? Ooh. One step at a time. Ready? You're getting closer to clearing my character out. You're not making sense again. Well now. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know. Including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah! I'll raise them flags like crazy. Okay. So, is that everything in here? Alright. Fourth floor? Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. 
It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. I hate these splotches. It creeps me out. All right. Um, looks like there's a couple of different places we can go. Let's talk to Akane first. Akane's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? So. I don't know. It's just my gut, after all. It's just my gut. Uh, well, she has a very good sense of intuition. But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For someone, it's strange. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. I'm scared. I don't want any jump scares. Oh my god. Look at that. That is terrifying. Uh, I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. Okay, wait. I think it's this way? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the music room. I can't take too much more of this. Whew. What? What is that? This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in a music room? And not just that. The mark engraved into the monument is the symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Speak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Okay. So the Future Foundation are the, are the kids from DR1. The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Speak Academy. Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. Which means they're not bad, like we thought. See if there's any Monokuma's in here. Okay, what's this? What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Week Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Week Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Oshima rallying them, in a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of killing school life. Also, if there are survivors of Hope Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins, and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Whoa. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. 15 students. Yeah, 15! Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who is part of the Future Foundation. There was definitely 15 of us. But what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking about some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. 
Hmm. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Holtz Week Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. Not like y'all would have uh, believed it anyway. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Ishima are making us go are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's a research facility. If there's really a research facility on the island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there's still so many mysteries. Yes, lots of mysteries. Let's go. <sighs> okay. So then I'm guessing I make a left here. Oh my god. Wait, how do I? I'll pass it. Okay, so right here. Okay. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room ha kinda has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Well... More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. Until the very end. Huh? Are you serious? Yes, yes I am. Okay. So there's a couple different things to look at. There's flowers on the desk. Flowers on top of the desk. Plus, they look strange to me. Are my eyes just tired? No, they're definitely pixelated. Blackboard. Hmm, there's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just below that are names I've seen before. Yes, those are our names. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Hyoko Sayonji is written there. What's this newspaper? Look at Hyoko! What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sayonji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. Yeah, she looked grown. But the photo in this newspaper, in a way, I could see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure. It's too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? What would the newspaper say? Hmm? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji right here. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name? I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Man. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Sionji family's only daughter. Hmm. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative. No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hyoko. Huh? Oh, that's right. Of course not! What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. 
I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> oh man, what does this mean? Today, I'm feeling white. Well, regardless, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper. Is she the real Hyoko? Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. She's very pretty. I mean, how could there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does this even exist? Hey, hey, could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? Ah! Ugh, what am I saying? I'm just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, that would mean we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. I'm not so sure it's not time travel. Who's this guy? Oh wait, we've seen this guy before. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the pla placard says... Hope Speak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Yep. Founder of Hope Speak Academy, and this name, Izuru Kamakura. Wait, what? That. Is, yeah, that completely contradicts the information we got from Monokuma. Damn it, another mystery. How did he found Hope's Peak when he was a student of Hope? Man. Let's look at this. There are letters floating in the air, just like in the music room. It looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and con continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko Inoshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko Inoshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's a pretty much all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones ra raging that war, ooh, there are no, there's no way they'll be forgiven that easily. Alright. Oh my god. Okay! With this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor! Congratulations, Hajime! You shall now go on to the next stage! Next stage? Okay, we're gonna have to find out what that next stage is next time because it's very overwhelming, all this information, and it's a lot to read. Difficult on the throat, you know. So, um, are you guys piecing any of this together? I, every time I think I am, we learn something new and it's like a little bit of a contradiction, like the founder there. So, I think I'm not gonna get it all until we get to the very end. But this is very interesting and I'm excited to see how this all plays out. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. 
Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed for more Danganronpa, and I'll see you next time.